Welcome to Old Fox Racing PC. Welcome to another round of Madness. And this time we are at Brasilia Circuit. Another Brazilian circuit in AMS2. One of many Brazilian circuits. And what a car we have here. The Reinhardt 98i Mercedes-Benz. That's the cart, the champ car. Car from 1998. What a glorious era of American open wheel racing and today we've got 13 takers not a lot of livery so we'll have a hard time figuring out who is who uh, but we have um, a lot of this iconic uh, white and blue livery of course from Greg Moore from the 1990s at number 99 and Chris Perry is on pole position followed by Mark Elder Mike Stevens and Jürgen Smets are on the second row. Third row, it's uh, Kev Allen and Diogo Silva. Fourth row, Dan Head and Wayne Robinson. Fifth row, it's Jorge Luna and Simon Allen. And sixth row is David Good and Matt Coward. And a good and welcome for Peter Kasberger. Good to have you in uh, Old Fox Facing PC. He's starting in 13th. Let's see where he can climb and the way they are going to go and the way they go that's a good start by chris perry chris perry oh chris perry immediately spins chris perry oh whoa 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 this was a bit embarrassing chris perry immediately spins with this car it's not the it's not a very easy to control car and uh look at some other drivers uh Everyone just uh, going into turn one, and Mark Elder is uh, in the lead of this race. Pretty much uh, everyone uh, safely through turn one, except, of course, uh, look at you, Silva, up into second place. And how did this happen? He was starting in sixth place. So we'll get a replay of what happened at the start uh, with Diogo, because he seemed to have an enormous start. Uh, there is Chris Perry. There is Diogo uh, from the third row. Everyone just spinning wheels there. Mark Elder also hit the wall. Diogo Silva nicely done there. Into turn one. And uh, goes through to second place. Uh, Jürgen Smets in third. Mike Stevens. And there it has. Kevall and Simon Allen. Jorge Luna, Wade Robinson and all the others. As they are now approaching turn two, and that is the Pack West livery there, the number 18 that we had from those days, of course, with uh, Mark Blundell from the United Kingdom, a uh, very successful driver in this car as well, and uh, Mauricio Kujelmin, the Brazilian driver, also has raced for Pack West, but uh, pretty much seems to be that uh, it's a Pack West and Foresight. Uh, exclusive livery as uh, Joe Silva is now in second place. Now Jürgen Smets here is uh, on board with Jürgen in the chase camera. He is in third place and Mark Elder already. Oh look at Darren Head. Darren Head has had a problem. Darren Head has had a problem. Darren Head has had a problem and we will get multiple replays of what happened because yes this is a fast left-hander but you cannot go completely flat out as uh, Darren Head just found out and he goes into the gravel and uh, loses uh, an enormous amount of time. Matt Coward also got delayed there by some incidents in the same spot. As uh, Jürgen Smets continues to chase... Uh, oh, look at uh, Mike Stevens. He is in fourth place. And Kev Allen. Kev Allen is not far from uh, all of these drivers running wide there as they go through the fast uh, section. And Mark Elder is going to lead left one here. Mark Elder is Mark Elder in pit lane. Mark Elder in pit lane, and this is a disaster for Mark Elder. He has a drive-through penalty. Fortunately, it's not a very long pit lane, and he is back already. He actually does not lose that much time. He is in tenth place behind uh, David Good, and Young Silva is up into the lead of this race as a second place man 
Jurgen Smets is uh, continuing to chase him and Mike Stevens is not far behind. Nice shot here from uh, Mike Stevens. Uh, so Jürgen Silva he continues to lead this race now on lap 2. This is the tight race, remember. Oh, an error there by Jürgen Silva. And look at Jürgen Smets, somebody's really wide there, somebody's really wide, seems to be uh, Kev Allen. Kev Allen runs wide and we'll get a replay and... Uh, well, not only Kev Allen went running wide. No, it was Kev Allen, yes, uh, I believe so. Yes, uh, just don't break himself and now he is uh, playing hard in the gravel. Jorge Luna almost joining the action there as well. As, uh, Wayne Robinson is up into 6th place and that's uh, good to see some uh, rookies and it's very difficult to uh, differentiate. Oh, and, uh, Wayne Robinson now, really this car on the exit is uh, very tricky indeed and Wayne Robinson gets uh, overtaken there by a bunch of drivers. Look at Peter Karsberger, up into 6th place there. Some nice uh, hard action here. And the Good news for Mark Elder is that he has gone up into six spot. Peter Karsberger in seven, Wayne Robinson in eight, and uh, Kev Allen has had another problem. And uh, we will get a replay of what it was. As yes, it seems to be. Oh, he was behind Wayne Robinson. Wayne got uh, a problematic exit, but uh, Kev, oh, he clips the curb. And now, oh, look at that, he is actually outside. Oh dear. Kev Allen just went backwards. He literally went backwards. Darren had also got uh, some problems, so we'll. Oh, no, 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 I'm so sorry. That I pressed the wrong button, but uh, we'll get quickly to where Darren Head was. We were on that to this Darren first off. So there it is in 11th place, and uh, let's uh, see what uh, happened, it's again in the same place, and all is about to happen in the next corner I believe, because both Ray Robinson and uh, Kev Allen and Darren Head got delayed there, oh and Darren Head also decides to have, look at this, he's uh, deep uh, in the woods there, in the Brazilian Amazon forest. Drops down to uh, 12. Uh, Kev Allen actually will have a look at this track side because I think it's uh, quite worthwhile to watch this again. He literally went back in time. He literally went back in time because he's already, yeah, there you go. He's already in this corner. He's going to lose it and he's going to go back to the previous trains. He literally went back in time and uh, down into 13th place. So now we have quite a number of uh, very high profile drivers at the back of the field. And uh, Mark Elder is the one that uh, says thank you very much. Look at this group here. It's composed of uh, Mark Elder, Peter Kasberger now defending from Wayne Robinson. Side by side, oh, and uh, there's, 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 there's a uh, collision there. Collision there, and I believe uh, it was, uh, well, Wayne Robinson, let's have a look at this uh, from the onboard, because I'm not even sure there was contact, but uh, there was definitely an incident there. Uh, there you see. Oh, Wayne, just a little bit, a little bit too much of a dive there, and uh, nowhere to go for Peter Karsbergen. And that's not uh, the way he would have liked his debut. Just being shuttered off the road. And uh, he rejoins in 11th place, uh, 12th place actually. Uh, so let's go back to the race lead and see what's happening between uh, Jürgen Silva and Jürgen Spets because they are nose to tail now. Lap 3. Uh, we are still in the early stages of this race. I'm not sure if this First time ever that Jogo Silva has led lap in the Old Fox Racing PC. 
but uh, certainly it's uh, one of the first times that we can remember the Portuguese driver leading a race. Uh, let's see what he can do. Jurgen Smets has other ideas as he is uh, in second place, North Hotel, and third place is Mike Stevens. Fourth place is uh, Simon Owen. We haven't uh, seen a lot of him. But look at that now. Uh, it's a bit of a strategic race between these two. It's not easy to overtake uh, with this combo, so Jurgen Smets will have to think where on this Brazilian track. He can uh, actually be faster than uh, Diogo Silva. Mike Stevens in third place. Now, Summer Allen in fourth. Fifth place is Luna. And uh, Mark Elder in sixth. We haven't seen a lot of uh, Chris Perry, the man who started on pole position. But uh, basically, he's up into seventh place. Uh, other people crashing behind, certainly has helped. Dwayne Robinson still in 8th, David Good in 9th, Matt Coward in 10th, Levin is there in head. 12th is Peter Kasberger and 13th is Gavon. Gavon running 16 seconds away from everyone else after that really odd off-track excursion. Back to the race leader here with Diogo Silva leading as we are on lap 4 and uh, look at Jurgen Smets, he is uh, very close indeed, just under a second between these two drivers. Another lap will be completed, it's a relatively short lap here, 128 0 for the race leader. But look at Mark Helder, he is uh, actually very much under, well he's not under pressure, he's putting pressure on Horta Luna. Uh, the Mark uh, and Chris Perry as well in 6th and 7th and uh, perhaps about to go into a top 5 position let's see uh, if Luna manages to defend as I mentioned it's not the easiest combo to make a clean overtake Mark Elder certainly seems to have a bit more pace look at the leader oh, Jürgen Smets has had a problem there He's done a 129, look at the leader, 127.995, that's a good time, but Mark Elder even faster, 127.639, here he comes on the inside, and uh, this is Mark Elder into the top 5, oh look at Chris Perry, oh dear, he runs wide, he runs wide, and now has lost his uh, front wing, Unfortunately for him, uh, no uh, damage in all boxes. Precision. He comes on the inside now. Of course, this is a brave move here on the inside. And Chris Perry up into sixth place as uh, that uh, front wing will magically reappear. Let's look for battles uh, here in this field. Peter Kasbergen has lost some time as he's now sitting 13th. Caval running on his own in 12. Darren Head running on his own in uh, 11. Matt Coward running on his own in uh, uh, 10. He can see David Good in the horizon. David can also see Wayne Robinson. Orhaluna down into 7. And look at Mark Elder. He is uh, absolutely flying. He is now very close to Simon Owen. He is 2 seconds left uh, faster than Simon Owen. A 127-0 versus uh, 7 hours 129, 419. We are on left 6, approaching the midpoint of this race. And Mark Elder certainly seems to be in a position to uh, go up into fourth place. He just needs to find a way around 7 hours. So a good recovery from Mark Elder from that uh, drive through. Here he comes on the inside. He wasn't uh, uh, close enough. Race leader Diogo Silva has now lost a bit of time again, and the gap is now a second. Chris Perry trying to follow Mark Elder into that battle as well. As Simon Howard uh, runs right there, and here comes Mark Elder on the inside. Mark Elder is on the inside, and oh, it's contact between these two drivers. Contact between these two drivers. Here comes Chris Perry. Chris Perry is going to get a two in one, and that was a massive move by Chris Perry. Oh, and Mark Elder is off the track there. Mark Elder is off the track. Oh, and they crash. They crash. The two aliens crash, and uh, 
we will get the replay of what happened here in the chase camera as it seems to be that uh, Mark Elder was trying to attack Simon Allen and uh, let's see let's see what happened here shall we so he is oh there you see Mark Elder a bit of a late move there but uh, plausible well 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 this is Simon Allen's corner Simon Allen sees him gives him room but they're going to interlock wheels here so a bit of uh, pushing and shoving and now Mark Elder has got the position he's in fourth but he lost a lot of momentum coming out of the corner and here comes Chris Perry that has already overtaken Simon Allen Simon is here let's uh, see his and uh, now there is this uh, oh and Chris Perry and uh, Mark Elder collide Mark Elder goes off the track and uh, is he going to come back Mark Elder just going to appear here on the right hand side. Yes, he's and is he out of control? Not entirely sure, but uh, he just knocks down uh, Chris Perry and uh, Chris uh, up into well, Chris is in sixth place. Luna is again in the top five, and Mark Elder is uh, back into seventh. Seven hour retains fourth, but there's lost a bit of time in the process. So it's uh, back to square zero for Mark Elder. Look at Chris Perry almost losing it there in turn one. He's now trying to get back to that top five position by trying to put pressure on Jorge Luna. Simon Howard is the driver in fourth place ahead of both these drivers and uh, we will have a quick look at the race Please look at this nice uh, exit there by Chris Perry and now he's side by side and surely he's going to go ahead and uh, he is ahead as uh, Luna drops down into sixth place let's go back to the race leader Diogo Silva continues to lead this race a one second gap over Jurgen Smets and we are at the midpoint of this race we should have 14 laps uh, with a 20 minute time race. Jogo Silva is uh, going to lead another lap. He has led every lap except the first uh, in uh, this race. Jurgen Smets and Mike Stevens still, you can see them in the same screenshot. The gap between the top three is uh, two seconds. Fourth is Simon Allen, fifth is now Chris Perry. And look at Chris Perry, he is uh, absolutely flying. I wouldn't be surprised if Chris is a uh, bit before play. Oh, and that contact between him and Simon Allen. Contact between him and Simon Allen, and uh, they do not lose uh, any time, almost any time whatsoever. But uh, uh, Chris Perry is still behind Simon. Mark Elder has overtaken Luna in for sixth place. Look at Chris Perry, he's absolutely flying in uh, this uh, section of the circuit. To go on board with Chris Perry, Mark Elder up into sixth place. Jorge Luna drops to seventh. Wade is Wayne Robinson, ninth is David Good, tenth is Matt Coward, eleventh is Darren Heads, and Kev Allen is uh, very close to Darren now. Out of that battle with the Kartbergen in a uh, 13th spot on his debut in an uh, all-fault facing PC. Joe Silva continues to lead this race. Let's look at the battle between. Oh, it's uh, Simon Allen has been overtaken there by. Let's get the replay of the overtake. Chris Perry up into fourth position. And this is how he did it. He's going to go on the inside there. Nicely done. Oh, and Simon misses the breaking point there, gives him space. And Chris Perry up into port. Chris Perry up into fourth spot. Let's look for battles. The battle for the lead is at their second. 
Mark Elder is trying to go get back into the top five position as well. He's chasing seven hours to keep an eye on that battle for fifth place. Uh, the drivers are not uh, that uh, close by, although we seem to have a massive battle here between Darren Head and Cavallo. For 11th place, still there are points on offer for every position in this race, so it does matter where you finish, even if you are outside of the top 10. Oh, you're running wide there. Oh, look at this, look at this, the battle at the front. Is uh, heating up again as Jürgen Smets is coming back at Diogo Silva. Lap 9, we should have 14 laps in this race, so 5 to go at the line. And Diogo Silva not making any mistakes, but uh, on the last lap he was. In fact, he was marginally faster than Jürgen, but probably on the previous lap that's where the damage was done. As uh, another lap is complete, lap 9, out of 14 is complete, and Jung Silva runs wide in the last corner. Let's look at uh, the, oh, and uh, look at this, uh, that's a massive battle there between uh, these two drivers, Mark Elder and Simon Allen. Mark trying to get uh, back into a top 5 position. Other battles as Darren Head refused to be ahead of uh, Kev Allen. But the hottest battle right now is this one for fifth place. Look at Darren Head and Kev Allen also very close to one another. That's the battle for 11th. And of course, we have the battle for the lead of this race. Between Yoko Silva and Jurgen Smith. Mark Elder very close to Simon Allen. Let's go on board with Mark. Oh, he's going for it again in the same spot, and this time round it does work. And Mark Elder is up into fifth. Leaders are going to complete another lap. The Jogo Silva continues to be just a few tenths ahead of uh, Jurgen Smet's completion of lap 10. And could we see a new winner in the uh, Old Box Racing PC? Because Jogo Silva has never won a race in PC. He has won multiple times in PlayStation. In fact, no one has won more races in uh, PlayStation than uh, this man. But he has never won on PC, and now that could all of a sudden change as he uh, is going for his maiden win uh, in uh, Open Racing PC. Let's go for other battles, and uh, here is uh, Kev Allen. Kev Allen has gone ahead of Darren Head, and uh, we'll see how he has done it. This was uh, at the end of the lap. Oh, Darren has missed. Uh, Darren is sliding there. Darren sliding and Kev is just with more momentum and now he's going to go on the inside and uh, they go side by side through the corner but it's Kev Allen who has the inside line and uh, is uh, going to go ahead of their head so they are down into 12th spot Battle for oh and uh, Kev Allen is off Kev Allen is off and he re-emerges. He re-emerges. And uh, Peter Kasberger is uh, in, uh, still in 13th. Another lap is going to be complete very shortly. That's completion of lap 11. Should be 3 to go at the line. And can Diogo Silva hold on to this lead? Uh, he is uh, very close, but not close enough to make a move yet. Oh, look at this. Uh, you see him again running very wide to the last corner. Left 12, that's 3 to go at the line. And uh, let's go through the field. That's uh, actually Mike Stevens has 
dropped back quite substantially. He's now six seconds behind the two leaders. And he's under pressure from Chris Perry, who is trying to go now for a podium position. Oh, and Max Stevens is off. Max Stevens is off. Oh, and they collide with Chris Perry. Oh, Chris Perry, nowhere to go. And where does this thing Mark Elder? Mark Elder comes up into third as uh, Mike Stevens continues spinning. We'll get the replay of uh, pretty much everything that has happened here. Oh, this has been a disastrous couple of corners there for Mike Stevens. And Chris Perry just caught completely as an innocent bystander there because he is uh, he's behind Mike. Mike is uh, going too hot into the corner. He misses the apex. He is now on the curb and he is, uh, well, Chris Perry can see it coming, but he has to make a decision whether to go on the left or on the right. And the contact happens, the collision happens. And uh, Mark Elder just says, thank you very much. And he goes up into third position. This is massive for Mark Elder as he, uh, by the way, uh, Max Stevens did uh, end up losing uh, fourth place, well, fifth place, uh, fourth place now for Chris Perry. He's running a very low downforce version of this Reinhardt chassis. Unfortunately, no uh, damage in uh, Opox and Expectation. Look at the Jorge Luna still in sixth place and very nicely. And actually, he's coming uh, very close to fourth place. With Robinson in seventh, Simon Allen after that off is in eighth, David Good is in ninth, Darren Head up into tenth because something happened to Matt Coward. We will try to rewind to see what it was. Uh, and this is what it was. Well, he was already in eleventh, and uh, he is going to lose it uh, yet again in the last corner as tires start becoming a bit of a problem here. Probably coming in turn one. We'll get the replay of what happened to Matt. He's always uh, coming way too hot there. He's sliding and now he's in the gravel. Just lose an enormous amount of time, but does lose another position to Kev Allen. Now they try to find some grip there somewhere at the tarmac. And here comes uh, Peter Kasberg. Now he's, uh, he's uh, still very much behind Matt. And now. A couple of laps to go here. They're going to complete another lap, and it seems to me that Joe Silva has found some pace again because he's done uh, well almost identical time to uh, Jurgen Smets in the last lap. Let's see this lap because I suspect yes, half a second faster, and all of a sudden that gap is up to a second again. And this could be with two laps to go. What Diogo needs to hold on to that lead. Let's go to other battles. Mark Elder is, of course, in the third place behind Jurgen Spets. Fourth is Chris Perry. Fifth is Mike Stevens. Sixth is Jorge Luna. Seventh is Wayne Robinson. Eighth is Seven Hour. Ninth is David Good. Tenth is Darren Head. And Darren continues to battle with the Gap Hour. That battle is probably going to, going to take us to the check and flag. But uh, look at Diogo Silva, he has found some pace again. He is uh, running away with this race. Just one more lap to go, I believe. As you can see, the enormous amount of people patiently waiting for the leaders to come uh, again into pit lane. Let's look for battles uh, through the field, but we don't seem to have many. Although Simon Allen is making a late uh, challenge on uh, Wayne Robinson. Simon tried to salvage at least uh, seventh place out of his race. And I believe the leader is now on his last lap. Or maybe this is not the last lap, it may be the penultimate lap. We'll see if they manage to do a 15th lap. The gap now is just under a second. Let's go back to Sun. And uh, Wayne. Here they are, and they are nose to tail. Simon Allen going for a move potentially in turn one. Didn't quite work as uh, Wayne Robinson keeps that seventh position. Oh, 
on the outside now. It's tricky to overtake here on the outside. Or in fact, generally speaking, with this car on the outside. But look at that. That's uh, absolutely brilliant. And now he's going for it. He's going for it. And uh, when Robinson says, no way, Jose. And he's going to take the corner. Now, I believe that this is the last lap. I believe this is the last lap. And Diogo Silva is going to win the race if he can hang on for a few more corners. If he can hang on for a few more corners, he's going to win the race. As uh, the checkered flag is uh, already in the air. And uh, Diogo Silva is going to be a winner in uh, all Fox Racing PC. As he takes the checkered flag from Jurgen Smets in second, just under a second. What a battle, but Diogo Silva, what a win. Third is going to be Mark Elder. After a drive two, that's not a bad result. Fourth is going to be Chris Perry, the man who was on pole position and immediately spun with the green light. Fifth is going to be Mike Stevens. Seven, six is going to be Barcelona. And oh, and Seven Allen has gone through. Seven Allen has gone through. We'll get a replay of what happened here because that was a move on the last lap for position. And ooh, and what a move it was on the outside there. When Robinson tried to protect the line, but Seven is coming with everything. And uh, just has a bit more momentum and uh, ends up in uh, ends up in, oh it's seven hours now uh, uh, messes up that corner well 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 good when Robinson come uh, through no is the answer and here comes David with as well he's very close indeed that's a seven eight and nine as they are now both uh, completing the race uh, seven hour and uh, finishing seven eight when Robinson nine to David Good then it's going to be oh and uh, look at this Darren Head has lost the position to Kev Allen Kev is coming to take uh, the final top 10 position in this race as uh, he crosses the line and oh and oh and uh, oh and, 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 and Kev Allen who was that who was that Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, the incident there is the driver was going very slowly indeed. And I'm not sure, was that Wayne Robinson? Let's go with the chase camera. No, it was not Wayne Robinson, was it Peter Kasberger? Oh, it was Peter Kasberger, he was a lap down. No, he wasn't Peter. have to go to the bottom of this as it was Matt Coward in 12th place. The question is how on earth well, how on earth did this happen? Matt, Matt Coward is uh, in 12th place. Someone locking up there. That coward is off the track. Oh, and someone was cutting the corner there big time. Someone was cutting the corner there big time. And who, who was this? Because was it their head? Well, 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 we can't completely figure it out here. Uh, it could well be Matt Coward there. Well, it seems to be like a mystery driver just comes up from literally nowhere. Nowhere. Oh, is this Jurgen Smets? Oh, oh, Jurgen Smets is coming on his well cooldown lap and gets hit by Kev Allen, still finishing the race. This is incredible. As uh, Kev, well, nowhere to go but Jurgen on his cooldown lap, he basically cuts the corner and uh, ends up actually potentially affecting the actual race as Darren had finishes in a 
11th place and uh, Matt Coward completes the finishing drivers in 12th, no, in, in, on the lead lap, I mean, Peter Carsberg and of course finished in 13th, but outside of the lead lap, what a weird finish this was, as Jürgen Smets was actually taking shortcuts in this Brazilian circuit and ends up uh, ahead of Caval who was still trying to finish the race. In any case, we have a new winner, Diogo Silva, followed by Jürgen Smets, and in third place it was Mark Elder. We shall see more action in race two.